Hi, this is Matthew Campagna from the TurningGate.net, and we're once again looking at the Adobe Lightroom web module. In this video, I'm going to be talking about TTG High Slide Gallery and its Isolate Thumbnail Grid feature, which is located here under Developer Tools in the Appearance pane. One of the things introduced in the new High Slide Gallery is the new version of the TTG header, uh, which is different, and I feel greatly improved over the previous version of the header which exist in the other galleries. Now eventually I'll be bringing those other galleries up to date with the new header, but until then, there's a bit of a mismatch going on. So for those users who would like to replace the new header with the old header so that all of the pages on their website match, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And this, of course, offers me the perfect opportunity to show you how to use the Isolate Thumbnail Grid, which is new to the TTG product line. The purpose of Isolate Thumbnail Grid is to remove all of the other elements from the page aside from the thumbnails and the gallery functionality. So if I enable it by checking the box here, you can see that it removes the header and the footer from the gallery. Um, and we can use this to our advantage to place the gallery into another page layout. Uh, if you have a pre-existing website, or if there are parts of the gallery that you'd like to replace, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. Before we can do that, though, let's move over to an older version of the gallery. To follow along in this exercise, you're going to need a couple of things. Um, you're going to need a text editor so that we can move pieces of code around. You are going to need TTG Auto Index and TTG High Slide Gallery. I'm looking at the Auto Index right now, and as you can see, the header is different got the ID plate over here, the site title, collection title here, and the menu is a lot uh, smaller and less of a design element in the old version of the gallery. So what you're going to want to do first is set up TTG Auto Index uh, so that the header looks the way you want it to, and you don't need to really worry about any other of the page elements. These here, not important for what we're doing. Um, if you'd like, you can go ahead and set up the footer. We can incorporate that into the gallery as well while we're at it. And the reason I'm choosing TTG Auto Index as the basis for what we're going to be pulling out is because it's, the pieces are already uh, separate because the gallery uses a PHP script and then includes those pieces of code from external files. It just makes it a lot easier to work with than one of the other galleries. So um, this is now already set up. We would export this to the, desk, to the desktop where we can get at it. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to push the button. Um, it's just here on my desktop. With that exported, we jump back over to TTG High Slide Gallery. And again, you configure the thumbnail grid uh, to look the way you want it to in the end result gallery. Um, because the header and footer are not going to be used, they are not important. So you can take this and just forget about it. Um, just configure your thumbnails and you're ready to go. Then tick the Isolate Thumbnail Grid box and export the gallery. Once again, I've already done this. Um, and so that's it. I'm done with Lightroom. I'm going to go ahead and close it out. And what I have here on my desktop is one exported auto index and one exported high slide gallery. I'm going to take the high slide gallery and I'm going to open the index.html file in my text editor. I'm using Panix Coda, but of course any text editor will do. Here's my index.html file, so I'm going to crack that open. And what I see, of course, is the page for the code. The code for the page. Um, I'm also going to open up my auto index in a finder window. And I'm going to take a couple of files out of this. I'm going to want to open the head.html file. I'm going to want to open the header.html file. And I'm going to want to open the footer.html file. Um, we're also going to need a couple of resources. The first thing I'm going to need to pull out of my auto index is the style sheet. So if I dig down into Resources, CSS, and locate Gallery.CSS, I want to move this into the CSS folder in my High Slide Gallery. And there's already a file in there. We're going to replace it. 
The other thing I need to dig out is my ID plate from the auto index header, which is located in resources, images, ID plate.png. I'm going to take that, drag it into resources, images, in the high slide gallery. And again, we're going to replace the existing ID plate. That done, we can start moving around chunks of code. I'm going to go into the head and steal this line. Uh, it's this, the link for the style sheet, gallery.css. So I'm going to copy that, go to my high slide index.html, and I'm going to paste it into the head so that it references that CSS file. That done, I'm finished with head.html and I can close it. The next thing I'm going to do is go into the header.html file and copy the contents in their entirety. Jump back to index.html. I'm going to scroll down until I find the opening body tag. And I'm going to insert my header directly beneath it. That done, we are now finished with the header.html file and can get rid of that. The last thing I'm going to do is bring the footer into the page. So again, go to footer.html, copy that content, go back to index.html for the high slide gallery. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and find the closing body tag. And just above that is where I'm going to paste in the code for the footer. That done, I save the index.html file and I can quit out of my text editor, or just put it away for now. Go to my high slide gallery, run the index, and that's it. What you see here is TTG high slide gallery with all of the high slide functionality combined with the old TTG header. So I hope that is something that you will find useful. And I hope that helps to make sense of the, uh, the new Isolate Thumbnail Grid feature that's located in the developer tools. Thank you very much, and look forward to more TTG tutorials coming soon.